and what is up podcast people soundtrack geniuses and youtubers christopher coleman here with tracksounds.com and another unwrapping we might go as far as to say that this here is an unboxing because what you see before you the x files limited edition four disc release volume one from la la land records is actually in a box now I am unboxing something that is essentially two years old this release was made in 2011 um, and it is like how shall you say sold out out of print I hadn't opened it yet and here it is October 2013 and we're just fixing to open this baby now why am I opening this now well it's the 20th anniversary this year uh, of the X-Files and of course you probably know that um, La La Land Records did release a volume 2 in honor of the 20 uh, year anniversary and uh, shame to admit it that it reminded me that oh yeah I need to open up volume 1 and uh, so that's what we're gonna do today and remember this thing you can't find anymore if I leave this thing on uh, wrapped and boxed it's worth a heck of a lot more than if I open it right now because there's only I believe 3,000 what does it say in the back there 3,000 units um, and quick look on Amazon and elsewhere Amazon I see for like a couple hundred bucks which is insane um, but you know how people do on Amazon they like to stoke the stoke the prices a little bit uh, but you can find it elsewhere I think it's off 50 bucks on eBay 179 or so on eBay as well um, so just know that it's out of print might not be that hard to get but you're gonna pay a premium for it of course you can jump right to it and get volume 2 which is still available um, at La La Land Records and probably some other places too uh, and I believe that's $49.95 I think could be wrong I forgot to look at the price exactly for volume 2 but I think that's what it was uh, and it's also a four disc release but this is the this is volume 1 so we're gonna tear into this baby now if you um, recall the music of course was created by none other than Mark Snow and back in the mid late to late 90s he was pretty much the thing I mean he's he scored a lot of stuff that uh, we know pretty well uh, and and the X-Files being one uh, among them and uh, perhaps the most um, popular show that he scored perhaps so, yeah, a pretty big deal back in the day. I wasn't the biggest fan. I watched an episode here and there, but I, I just never really, just never really grabbed me. But his music, I always thought, was uh, quite excellent, and spun off a couple films from it, from the franchise as well. So, X Files Volume One Limited Edition from La La Land Records. I'm Chris Coleman. I am opening this two years after it was released. You get to see it happen on video today, right now. Here you go. The soundtrack genius weapon, I mean tool. We don't use weapons. And now it's worth 75% less than it was two seconds ago. I guess. I don't know. I don't know how those things work. But I am going to maintain the plastic cover around the box. So if I ever sell it, you guys have seen exactly how I've how well I've treated it uh, and even leaving that little bonus plastic on there which is the OCD thing that I like to do don't tell me you don't have some OCD things that you like to do so I know you do uh, okay so that takes out oh make sure you, I'm sure you've seen that front by now not much going on in the top here's the back X files March no volume one there's 3,000 years all and Fox Music, 20th Century Fox. You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh. Okay. There is the box. We'll look at the book in a moment. Of course, Mulder, Scully. We know them. We love them. The back. Okay. 
Come on, let's focus. Let's focus. You can do it. There we go. Disc one, two, three. Uh, three discs? I thought it was ah four. Yeah, I thought it was four. So original original soundtrack from the Fox Television series. Let's open her up. Disc one. Disc two. Disc three. And disc four. Okay, four discs. Nice, very nice. All right, we're gonna treat it nice. We're gonna treat it very nice. We're gonna set it to the side here, and we're gonna get into the booklet here. Pretty substantial book here. Pretty, as you can see, pretty thick, pretty thick. I Means there's some goodness in there. All right. So again, this isn't so you don't have to get it. So we're not gonna spend like three days on reading every page. Just gonna give you a quick idea of what's inside. Um, we've got, it looks like the notes again have been written by Randall D. Larson. There's something out there, the meeting of, of mythology and music in the X-Files. I'm intrigued already. Um, so yeah, it looks fairly in-depth. Some quotes. Scully, Mulder, there's something out there. Mulder, I know. I've been saying that for years. That comes from Gender Bender. Uh, finding the key of X. I sing in the key of X all the time. I don't know what's the on that. Um, resist or serve. The music is out there. Some occasional shots from episodes. Included within. I'm sure if you're a big X Files fan, you're like, oh, that was the episode. That was like this and that. I remember. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, I. Don't know as well as some of you probably do. So now we're getting into um, in-depth descriptions of each track. So disc one, the main title. That's probably the most famous thing from the film. I mean, from the TV series, I would say. Track two, yeah. So we're getting into in somewhat in-depth notes on each track being released. To get all of these in frame for you. It's season two, episode one, Little Green Man. Is that one of them there? I don't know. He's not little. Uh, more shots of the from the show. Hmm. He looks oh, uh, he looks nice, and he looks even nicer. I assume they're he's. Maybe I shouldn't do that. So the notes look very in depth. It's like I said, very weighty. Um, some intriguing shots from the from the show, which actually are intriguing me enough to actually want to go and watch it. Except that dude. That dude's getting pretty much jacked, or he's dead. I don't know. Or maybe he's Theon Greyjoy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so in depth, track by track uh, analysis by Randall Larson, I believe. Quite a few pages. So, those of you who are X File people, yeah, this is something you pretty much need to have. Like I said, this particular one, Volume 1 uh, this, of this limited edition of the X File um, soundtrack, is out of print but like I said it is available in various places um, so we got the credits on the very last page or second to last page so you have um, looks like which tracks from which seasons which episodes broken down by disc very helpful and then you have the back so that's it that is the X-Files limited edition TV soundtrack 4 disc from La La Land Records volume 1 which is like I said 
out of print now, but it's available. If you want to search it out, I guarantee you can find it. I'm going to tuck this baby right back in its little bed so it stays nice and mintish. And uh, like I said, Volume 2 was released in September at La La Land, so you can pick that one up there right now if you like. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you like these, uh, this particular unwrapping slash unboxing. Um, just hit the little like button. It's really, you take two seconds. You could be done already if you just do it. Hurry up. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we'll do more of these. Uh, next one coming up, I believe it's a two disc release. Um, that's a two disc release of, let me see if I can tease it. I'm trying to grab it while well, I did. I'm going to tease it. Oh, there it was. Did you catch that? That's what we're going to be doing next. So until next time, thanks for checking out our site. Follow us on Twitter at Track Sounds. We're on Facebook. We're on Google+. Uh, where else are we? We're on Tumblr.